the kitchen, the new to you kitchen. Um, what we're going to do today is a little taste off. We have Spanish mackerel, skin versus no skin. So we're going to do a very simple preparation. Uh, this guy was swimming a couple hours ago. It's time for lunch. And so we're going to have a little taste off here. And uh, we'll take you through the prep, the cooking, and then we'll do the tasting at the end. All right, have a look. All right, here's what we're working with today. We've got uh, the Spanish mackerel. As you know, Spanish mackerel have extremely fine little scales. So it's one of those fish that you can, um, once you, you prepare it and cook it, uh, you, there's no reason to uh, descale it prior to cooking. Uh, I know the flesh looks a little pink right now. Uh, I think that's coming through that way on the video. It's really not quite as pink as it looks. It looks very salmon-ish, but uh, and also uh, mackerel turns whiter as you store it in the fridge for a couple of days. So once you fillet them, um, then uh, they'll get a little whiter, and then of course it turns white when you cook. So we've got some uh, peanut oil in the pan, uh, two three tablespoons. We filleted the fish, removed the pin bones, and we've skinned one one of the fillets. And we're just gonna go simple uh, salt, pepper, uh, badia uh, for a little more uh, flavor, and uh, then some flour. So we'll bread these up, we'll heat the oil, and then we'll uh, drop them in. And this is gonna get a nice little crispy uh, crust on it and uh, it's something people really uh, often enjoy. So uh, we'll come back to you when we're ready to drop them down. All right, our oil is uh, shimmering. Our fillets are now uh, lightly floured, uh, both sides, uh, with our seasoning. And there's our skin versus no skin challenge candidates. So we're going to just get those dropped in now. And this will be quick. So oil's hot, pan's hot. We'll start uh, with the skin side. Make sure we get a little extra crispiness. And there you see that skin side does shrivel up. It's, in, it's important that these are dry so that they do not spatter. Um, if you have any moisture, uh, and you saw I had them on a paper towel originally, as to really uh, suck any moisture out of them. And, and your seasonings and your flour will still stick, uh, even though. Um, may not make sense to you without any uh, uh, moisture or oil on there, but it will. The proteins in the fish allow that to happen. So we're going to let these go for a minute or two on each side, and uh, then we'll get over to the tasting. There's our flip, and now it's just a question of uh, finishing the cooking on that uh, alternate side. We got enough heat on there now, so we'll drop the uh, drop the temperature. Not quite so scorching. We prepped our plate, and uh, in another minute here, these will be able to be plated and then we'll give them a try. All right, here we are, the final product uh, of skin versus no skin, Spanish mackerel. Very crispy. You're gonna like that. Uh, that's, maybe we'll put a touch of lemon on these too. So uh, let's go over to the table and uh, have a taste. All right, here we are out at the table. We're going to spritz a little lemon on these two. I think what we'll do is we'll start first with the, the benchmark. No skin, I suspect. You know, that's the typical way most people are going to go for it. Exactly as expected. All right, now we're going to 
break into the piece here with the skin. You can see the back side looks just like the, the one that we uh, did fillet and skin. But uh, here we go. All right. I actually prefer the skin. The skin has that extra little level of crust, all these little brown bits, and it gets much crispier than the flesh. So I think as long as you're cooking it hot and fast um, with the peanut oil, for example, any oil that you can that you can really get the smoke point up, and uh, I think you'll uh, enjoy the flavor on it. So have a taste uh, on your own. Next time you have a fish that is very lightly scaled, pompano is another one like this that you can do in a similar way. And obviously, if for some reason you decide you don't like the skin uh, after you try it, you can remove it. It is removable. You'll lose a little bit of meat. Peels off the edge. But it's those edges around the the edges of the skin uh, of the fillet, that's where it really gets nice and crispy and that's actually some of the best parts. So, All right, thanks a lot. We'll finish this off and we'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye now.